Hello guys, and welcome back to the Tinkerbox, and today we are looking at Comparator Logic Circuits. So the Comparator is this nifty little block that has been added to the game, and we are going to go ahead and look at some logic circuits you can make with it. This first one is an AND gate. So you can see here, flip this lever, nothing happens, flip this lever, nothing happens, flip this lever, and this lever, and then something happens. So how does this work? Well, first off, you have to make sure you have the comparator set in the right mode. It has to be in the second position, which I believe is called subtract. So you just throw down a comparator, put it in subtract, and then put in two repeaters like so. And you want these repeaters to go right into this comparator. So that way you know you have two equal full strength signals. And then you simply throw down a NOT gate, and this NOT gate will simply invert the signal and make sure it is always full strength. And then you just put down an output. And you will see that uh, this by itself, since they are both full strength signals and it's on subtract mode, um, these two will still equal a zero tick pulse. Um, I should probably use a lever for this. If this one turns off and then this one turns on, this signal is now greater than this signal and thus it goes. So it's just a really easy to build an AND gate. So, you know, two repeaters, uh, a comparator, and a NOT gate. Pretty simple stuff. The next thing we have is a one tick monostable circuit pulse on the jig. It's basically just one of those fancy things you build that sends out exactly a one tick pulse that activates a piston just long enough to uh, pull a block up or move a block but not move it back right I guess that's how you could say it so if you just push this here you can see that it quickly in one tick activates the piston and pulls it down and this is really simple again I'll just come over here and you just put a comparator on subtract mode put down a block and then simply uh, hook b the blocks output up to either input of the comparator and you can see that the redstone updates too fast to really see. You can see it flick for a second. But if you, I put a piston down there, you'll go ahead and, whoopsie daisy, that is not what I wanted. You will see that it goes ahead and does a really, really fast update. So that brings me to the second part, which is T flip flops. Now this first one is pretty common. I'm sure you guys have seen it a lot. It's a standard T flip-flop, except with a redstone block, and this one doesn't actually use comparators at all. For a, for a video about logic gates with comparators, this doesn't make sense to put it in here. But since I'm talking about T flip-flops, I thought I'd just show this to you guys. Uh, it's just a revamp, it's just an old revamped design. You just need two regular pistons. One here. One here. And then you just need to put some blocks over the top with a torch on either side and some redstone and actually I goofed up because you need to put the redstone block in there like so there you go and when you give it a pulse you can see it switches and likewise using this monostable circuit I built you can put a sticky piston with a redstone block attached to it and you end up with a very similar uh, <clears throat> a very similar T flip flop except this one doesn't use any redstone torches or anything it's cheaper because it only has a comparator and then a redstone block and a piston basically so to make this you just uh, you build that monostable one tick pulsar thing I showed you and then just attach a piston with a redstone block to it and then hook up one of the positions to an output so pretty simple stuff uh, I hope you guys like this video and please consider like commenting subscribing and stay tuned for future snapshot videos I hope to see you all next time toodles